from the Coliseum in Los Angeles, California, the National Football League is on the air. It's Super Bowl seven, and today our unbeaten Miami Dolphins beat the Washington Redskins. How you doing, everybody? This is Rick Weaver along with Luke Weaver and Henry Bell. It is a gorgeous afternoon, somewhat on the warm side, and a lot of people figure this will be to the Dolphins' benefit. We do see a lot of empty seats around this huge arena. They sold over 90,000 seats, sold out uh, some two weeks in advance. This is the big one, the one that everybody in the league has, uh, has shot for, and only two teams have emerged to this ball game. The Dolphins have done it the hard way, actually, with a record of 16 and uh, 0. The Redskins come in, including their playoff uh, record of 13 wins and 3 defeats. So what do do? Uh, for the kickoff of Super Bowl seven, to the winner goes 15,000, to the loser 7,500. The Dolphins did win the toss, will receive at the south end, which will be down to our left as we sit on the uh, east rim of the stadium. And they'll be moving from our left to our right for the uh, first quarter of the ball game. Okay, Charlie Lee, number 23, and Mercy Morris, number 22, are back as the deep end down here at the uh, south end of the field to uh, receive the opening kickoff. Kurt Knight, number five, places the ball up on the tee, and Super Bowl seven is just about ready to get underway. Between the Washington Redskins, the Over the Hill Gang, again, one of the youngest teams ever to perform in a Super Bowl action last year are Miami Dolphins. Here is the kick. It is high, and it is short. It is taken by Morris. He's up across the 20 and is nailed at the 24-yard line. Mercury Morris, as the kick was a little bit high and short, Alvin Heyman downfield was one of the men uh, in on the uh, Washington Wesley team to make the tackle on the uh, play along with uh, Charlie Haraway. And the football is placed out at the Dolphins' 24-yard line. A return is some 14 yards for Morris. Kick and Zonka will be the running backs. Warfield and Fully, the wide receivers. Greasy, the quarterback. Mara Fleming, the tight end. Out of the huddle now come the Dolphins, moving from our left to our right. Warfield splits to the far side. To the near side is Fully. Kick and Zonka are the split backs behind Greasy. From the 24, hand off the kick, hits the left side and gets two. Out to the 26-yard line. Manny Sistrunk, along with Dyron Talbert, are the two fellas in there to bring him down. Mercury Morris has now come into the Dolphins' offensive alignment, a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up a second down and eight. Loop. Washington started off with a four-man line, Rick, a 4-3. They've got Sistrunk in there in patio, so they're really going to concentrate on a run. All right, Warfield splits to the far side, fully to the near side. Morris and Zonker are now the split back. Second down and eight. Dolphins football from our 26-yard line. Greasy up under center. Barks the signals on the snap. Spin, hands to Zonka. He counters over the left side and gets only a couple out to about the 28-yard line. All right, Warfield and Pulley set as double wide receivers to the near side. It's third down and six. Dolphins from their 28-yard line. Greasy looks over the defense on the snap. He drops to throw his first pass. Swings one out. Zonka, 25, and he's knocked down to a loss to the 26-yard line. Making the play, veteran linebacker Jack Pardee from the left side. That was designed to be a screen, and Pardee felt it and dropped Zonka for a yard loss. Back of the 27, and so the Dolphins will have to punt. And going back as the two deep men for the uh, Washington Redskins to feel Larry Siples' punt, Ted Vector, number 29. From Nebraska and the veteran Alvin Heyman, number 13. Very little breeze now. The flag hanging whipping from the pole down here at the north end of the field. Here's a fumble and uh, a flag thrown. Let's see who comes up with it. The Redskins come up with a football down at the 26 yard line. There was uh, a force, a force fumble there, but there was a flag on the play. And we'll see what uh, this is going to be. Uh, Rick, it was a call against Washington. I think they called it illegal motion. Now that's probably uh, what resulted, uh, caused the fumble to result. Illegal procedure is the call against the Redskins, and so the Dolphins get a break there as the Redskins had recovered a loose ball on the fumble for the punt. The penalty moves the football up to about the 32-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Seiple gets it this time. Gets a pretty good rush. Drills one out of there. It's long and flat. Back at the 18. Up across the 20. And uh, Alvin Heyman is flattened out at the 25-yard line. Jim Mendich was the first man downfield to make the tackle on the play. Hubert Ginn also for the Dolphins. And they place the ball back down at the 25-yard uh, line in Redskin territory. So that's where they'll operate from. A 51-yard kick and a beauty by Larry Seiple. A 7-yard return. 
Kilmer, the quarterback. He will have uh, Carraway along with uh, Larry Brown as the running back. Charlie Taylor, number 42, switch to the near side. Roy Jefferson, number 80, off to the far side. And Jerry Smith, number 87, is the tight end. Redskin from their 25. Here is Kilmer. Hands off to Brown. Over the right side, and he gets about three. Out to the 28-yard line. Nick Bonacani makes the tackle. Dolphins defensively. Denherter, Fernandez, Hines, and Stanfield. The front four. Swift, Bonacani, and Colin, the linebackers. Mumford and Johnson, the quarterbacks. And Scott and Anderson are the uh, safeties. Redskins offensively. The rest of them we gave you. Uh, the tight end, Jerry Smith. The wide receivers, Taylor and Jefferson. The quarterback is Billy Kilmer. The running backs, uh, Larry Brown and Charlie Haraway. And we'll set the interior of the offensive line for you in just a moment. A second down and seven. Redskins ball from their 28-yard line. Bill Kilmer on the handoff. Hits Brown. He pounds the middle and gets two to the 30-yard line. He's met by a swarm of no-namers. Manny Fernandez, along with Nick Bonacani, were the first two men there to make the impression. Also, Bob Hines gets up off the bottom of the pile. It'll be a third down coming up in five for the Redskins. The ball at the, their 30-yard line. We have 11 minutes, 7 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There is no score. Set in an eye. Third down and five. Skins from their 30-yard line. Waiting for the snap from center is Billy Kilmer. He will drop the throw. Looks left. Fires right. Little screen. Caught by Brown. 30, 35. He's got the first down across the 35. On the far side of the field, out to about the 37, perhaps the 38-yard line before safety man Jake Scott brings him down. And that'll bring up a second down and five for the Redskins from their 42-yard line. Taylor splits near side, Jefferson far side. The split backs are Haraway and Brown, second and five. Here's the handoff to Charlie Haraway over the left side. He's caught and up for a loss. Back on the 40-yard line by Manny Fernandez, number 75. We have 8.54 left to go in this first quarter. There is no score. Haraway and Brown are the split backs behind Kilmer. Third and seven, skins from their 40. Kilmer drops. He fires just his hit. It's incomplete. At the 45, a slant out for the near side. Bill Stanfield put the pressure on him. He was right at his knees as he let the uh, pass go, and it was incomplete. So that'll bring up a punting situation, and Jake Scott will go back as the deep man. Bragg is standing back at the Redskins 25. Here is the snap. He gets the kick out, and it's a high, very short kick. Scott running up, makes a fair catch at about the 32-yard line. <laughs> There's a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from the Super Bowl. With the score, the Redskins nothing and our Dolphins nothing. We have 8 minutes, 27 seconds to go in this first quarter. No score. The Dolphins get their second shot. After that 29-yard punt by Mike Bragg, Warfield splits left to the near side. Fully kick and dunk of the split back. In behind Greasy from the Dolphins' 32-yard line. On the snap, here's the handoff. Dunk a big hole right side. Out across the 35 to the 39-yard line. Boom, the bowl. Larry Zonka, Chris Hanberger. Number 55 from the linebacker spot makes the tackle on the play. Gain of some seven. That is the longest gain of the day for the Dolphins from scrimmage. A second down to three now. As we see, uh, trying to get some operating room here. Warfield splits left, fully to the near side. Kick and of the eye back. A second down and three. Dolphins from the 39. Greasy drops the throw. Looking for Warfield. An out pattern. He's got it at the 45, and he's knocked down at the 46. So the Dolphins pick up their first first down of the ball game with the pass completion on the sideline out to Paul Warfield. And the position of the football now is at the Miami 46-yard line. Seven minutes, 29 seconds left to go in the first quarter. There is no score. This is Miami's second offensive sequence of the day. Moving from our left to our right. Warfield splits left, plays to the near side. Morris is now in, and Zonka sets as a slot man to the right. Greasy pitches to Morris. Here comes the sweep. A flag down. Morris turns the corner and is run out of bounds, maybe for a yard loss. It looks like it's going to be against the Dolphins. It is. Holding. Offensive holding. Trying to get Mercury Morris around the near side corner on the sweep. So that hurts. So we'll see what Greasy comes up with now on first and 26. They have to get the ball to the Redskins 44 for a first down. Fully puts to the far, to the near side. Warfield to the far side. Morris and Zucker the split back behind Greasy. Greasy, double play fake. Goes back to throw. He has plenty of time. Now he's going to have to scramble. And he's up back to the 17-yard line. Berlin Biggs is the man who got him. As the Dolphins aren't having too much success moving this football against this Redskin defense. Third down and 36. We'll get it set. Third and 36. Dolphins football at their 21. Warfield splits far side, 20 to the near side. Morris and Zonka are now split backs. Behind Greasy, third down and very long yardage. Here is Greasy, trapped. Morris up the middle, and he gets out to about the 25, out to maybe the 25, and that's all. And again, the vaunted Redskins defense holds the Dolphins offense. 
Stiper will stand back at the 10. The line of scrimmage is the 25-yard line, waiting for the snap. Here it is. Stiper gets it out of there and booms a high punt. A fair catch will be made by Vector for the Redskins right at their 40-yard line. We have five minutes and five seconds left to go in this uh, first quarter. The ball club has been able to get inside the other team's 50-yard line thus far. Ball just across the skin, 30-yard line. Third down and long yardage. Here is Kilmer, back to throw. He drops deep, swings a screen to Brown. Gets away from one tackler to the near side of the 30, and Mike Cohen's got him and won't let him get away. Captain Punch, along with uh, Matheson also, and that screen, he actually could have been caught from behind the line of scrimmage by Fernandez, who was applying great pressure. They marked the ball at the 30, so he lost the yard, and Mike Bragg will have to come in. I say that this has been a defensive battle thus far. Neither team has been inside the other 50-yard line, and the punters have been the offensive stars of the game. Dick Scott goes back as the deep man, Dick Anderson as the shallow man for the Dolphins. We have 3.08 left to play in the first quarter. There is no score, and very few first downing, actually. Here is the snap. He gets the punt out of there. It's a high spiral. Jake Scott will come the ball. It is loose at the 35, the 36, the 37, and the Dolphins get it. Now, why he didn't signal for a fair catch, I don't know. Rick, I also can't understand why they didn't call a penalty on there because that that man did not allow Scott to catch the ball. All right, the Dolphins come up with it. Dick Anderson recovered it. Dolphin football action will continue as there is a timeout on the field from Super Bowl VII with a score, nothing to nothing. To show you how tough this defensive game has been, the Dolphins have just 10 yards. Total offense unofficially in Washington has 18. Scott uh, tried to make a reception of that punt, that 44-yard kick by Black, fumbled the ball, and Dick Anderson recovered it. So the Dolphins have the football at 37. Jim Chick and Larry Zonka are the split back behind Greasy. And here's a handoff kick to the left side, and he gets out to about the 39, maybe the 40-yard line. Darren Talbert, number 72, Chris Hanberger, number 55, uh, on the tackle on the play. Second down and seven for the Dolphins from their 40-yard line. Chick and Zonka remain the split backs and behind Greasy. Greasy looks over the defense, hands to Chick, sweeps to the right side, gets across the 40, out to the 45 to the 48-yard line. Goes Jim Chick. He just made a slight fear, a cutback to his left side. And Chris Hamburger, McClinton, and McDowell were over in on the stop. First and ten Dolphins from their 48-yard line. Warfield and Twilly, the wide receivers. Greasy drops the throw, firing for Warfield. He's open. He's got it. 25 out of bounds at the Redskins 33-yard line. They found the outside edge that time, and Warfield just went down and made just a little step and slowed down, and Brig Owens ran him out at the 33, 19 yards. Greasy to Warfield, and the Dolphins have a first down as they mark it at the Redskins 34. Now, this is the first penetration of the ball game into either team's territory by the other team. Warfield splits left, fully to their side. Zonka and Chick, Butch and Sundance, the split back. Behind Greasy, from the Redskins, 34. Miami picks up a third, first down. Here's a handoff, Zonka on the trap, hits the middle. And the man who got him and contained him, or he would have picked up good yardage to the 32, is Ron McDowell, dropping back and just uh, ramming from the uh, near side defensive end. And we have a minute and 12 seconds showing on the clock. We have to play in period number one. There is no score. The Dolphins have just gotten into Skins territory for the first time. The Skins have not been in Dolphins territory this afternoon. Warfield splits to the far side, fully to the near side. Butch and Sundance, the eye back, and now they split off. Zonka, slot man left. Second and eight from the Skins, 32-yard line. Greasy, long count, hands to kick. He bangs his way over the left side, gets inside the 30, down to about the 28-yard line. Ron McDowell again, a 12-year veteran from the University of Nebraska, in on the tackle for the Redskins. The ball is at the Redskins' 28-yard line, a third down and four with 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. Let's see what Greasy comes up with now. Third and four. They have to get to the 24 for their, uh, for a first down. Zonka and Chick are the uh, splitbacks in behind Greasy, waiting for the snap. Bob uh, drops the throw. He sets up. He is firing for Tilly. He's got it. And he's in for the touchdown. Howard Tilly. And here come the white handkerchiefs. Here it is again. We have a TV monitor right in front of us. He just cut across the middle and hauled it in. Pat Fisher got beat on the play, and Twilly just dragged him into the flag. So the Dolphins draw first blood. 
with a 28-yard touchdown pass from Greasy to Howard Pulley. And Mr. Clutch comes through with a big catch, and he uh, drags the cornerback Fisher with him a couple of yards. Only one second showing on the clock left to play in the first quarter. Yepremian will try the point from place, but Earl Morrow will hold down here at the north end of the field. 28-yard touchdown pass. Greasy to Twilly. Here's the snap. The kick is up, and the Dolphins are out in front, 7-0. The Dolphins are out in front, 7-0, as uh, we have just a second showing on the clock left to play in this first quarter. That drive encompassed some 63 yards, six plays, the elapsed time of it, 2.54. Uh, and Gracie, for the big plays in the drive, went to the air. He hit uh, Warfield with a 19-yard completion to the far sidelines, and when they had it, had the touchdown, missed the clutch with a great hand, Howard Tilly caught it. He was hit by Fisher at about the three or four and just dragged him across the flag into the end zone. So the Dolphins lead by a score of 7 nothing. Rick, I was watching on the other side of the field and poor Warfield over there with Mike Bass. Bass threw himself at, at Paul's feet. Paul over there on the other side, he was just as wide open as Howard Twilley was over here. Henry, the Dolphins have broken their all-time Super Bowl scoring record of three points. Okay, the, the uh, Redskins have three receivers back as a deep man. Bob Brunet to the far side. Herb Maltke, a rookie. A speedster in the middle and Alvin Heyman down the near side. Yepremian will kick off. Here's a low squibber. Curls down the near side. It'll be picked up by Heyman at the 14, to the 15, to the 20. Up the near sideline and he's hit and dropped across the 30 at the 31. And that should be the final play of the uh, first quarter. Jim Mandich again in on the tackle. That is the end of the first quarter. Dolphin action continues from Super Bowl seven. In Los Angeles with the score, our Dolphins 7 and the Redskins nothing. Third down and 8, Redskins ball from their 33. Taylor splits left, Jefferson near side. Waiting for the snap is Bill Kilmer from the Redskins 33. A long count, he will drop the throw, he sets up, he fires over the middle. It is tipped away and Jake Scott got the interception. Gets up at the 45 to the 50 and down to the Redskins 49. That ball was tipped in the air, and it was for the deep man coming across, and Scott falling back. Here's Charlie Taylor. That's who it was intended for. Now watch. Matheson goes up. The ball is deflected in the air by Scott. He comes down with the football, and he's got it. Since nobody tackled him, he picked himself up and ran with it. And the ball is marked down at the skin 47-yard line. So Jake Scott. Comes up with his sixth pass interception of the uh, season, his first to the playoff. And the Dolphins have a first down at the Skins 47 yard line, leading 7 0. Warfield and fully the wide receivers. Here's the greasy bootleg, play fake, fires up the right side. It is caught by Fleming, the tight end, and he is out of bounds, but there is a flag on the near side of the field. He's out of bounds, down at the Skins 28. Byron Patio slant him out. We'll see what the flag is about. It's going to be against Miami. In, uh, ineligible receiver is the call. But that's the call, and the Dolphins are penalized back to, the, to their 38-yard uh, line after they had the football all the way down to the skin's 33. Okay, the ball is at, uh, I think we said the 46, it's the 47-yard line. It'll be a third down and 15. As Warfield and Briscoe split off to the far side, and Jim Mandich, as employed as a wide receiver, split to the near side. Waiting for the snap as Jim Kick is in there for Zonka now. Kick and Morris. Reese, he drops the throw. He swings one. It is caught by Kick. He is hit and dropped at the 50-yard line. Circling out of the backfield was Jim Kick, and they were waiting for that one. As they get just a three-yard gain on it, Jack Pardee makes the tackle. Larry Seiple will come in as it brings up a fourth-down situation, and the Dolphins will hunt the football. 10.57 to go in the first half. Dolphins leading by a score of 7 0 That penalty... On that pass completion really hurt the momentum in this drive. Here's the snap to Seiple. Has plenty of time. He rips one out of there. Nice spiral. Back for to Heyman. Let's it bounce at the five, and it rolls right on by him into the end zone for a touchback. And so the ball will be brought out and put in play at a quarter skin to their 20. Dolphin football action continues from Los Angeles with a score of Dolphin 7 to skin cover. Jefferson puts far side to the near side is uh, Taylor, and Kilmer has not gone to the air too much as people suspected he would against uh, Lloyd Mumford this afternoon thus far. Second down at eight from the 22. Kilmer drops the throw. He sets up. He fires the middle. It is caught uh, for the first down out to about the 33-yard line by Larry Brown. Brown over the middle, circling out of the backfield. Third down and seven. Stins ball from that 35. Jefferson splits far side. Taylor to the near side. Haraway and Brown remain the splitbacks. And behind Bill Kilmer. 
from the 35. Here's the handoff, and Brown is hit and dropped for a loss to 34, and guess who? Manny Fernandez again. What a ball game Manny has played. And Rick, that's in a prevent defense. We only got three defensive linemen. Great ball on behalf of Manny. And so Mike Bragg is in the punt. The line is to meet the Redskins 34. He'll stand at the 20. Jake Scott is the deep man. Dick Anderson the shallow man. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Bragg gets it out of there and wobbles a high spiral. Scott will grab the ball back to the Dolphins 28 to the 30. And he is dropped at the 32-yard line. We have a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Super Bowl seven with a score. Our Dolphins seven, the Redskins nothing. Rick Weaver back at Super Bowl seven. Briscoe and Kicker in there on the offense for the Dolphins. Dolphins first down from their 32. Here's a handoff. Zonka, quick hitter in the middle. Jake Tackler, 40, 45, out to the 47-yard line. Boom, Larry Zonka and Mike Fast knocked him down. He was just ripping people on that play. 15 yards as Zonka broke several tackles. One at the line of scrimmage, one from a linebacker, and the Dolphins get a first down as they mark it at the Miami 45. Lou? And Rick, here we saw some of that arm tackle we talked about in the Pittsburgh game. Talbert really had his tackle broken. All right, Briscoe puts off far side. Dick and Zonka remain the uh, running back. They're in an eye behind Breezy. First down, Miami from our 45-yard line. Here is the pitch going to kick. Sweep to the right side. Gets the block. Turns the corner. He's at the 50 and knocked down at the Redskins 49-yard line. We have a second down and we'll call it two from the Redskins 48. Briscoe splits far side. Warfield near side. Zarka and uh, Morris are the eye back behind Greasy. Fake pitch. Greasy drops deep to throw. Flag down. He is firing deep. Warfield's got it. At the 10, the 5. Touchdown, but there's a flag on the play. The Dolphins... Lose a touchdown on it. Warfield was wide. Smack dab open. Greasy hit him with a strike. What would have been a 48-yard touchdown pass is illegal motion against the Dolphins. They lose five yards. Dolphins have not been able to run with a great deal of proficiency against Washington, but Greasy has been able to find holes in that secondary defense. Third down and six. Dolphins from their 49. Greasy drops the throw. And now he uh, is hit and dropped for a loss. Back at the 43-yard line. Dyron Talbert has the pass protection just faded away and the quarterback can all only hold on to that football for so long back there. So we're going to have to punt after having, having been denied by a touchdown. Boy, that, that penalty really hurt. A touchdown uh, taken away. Here is the kick. He gets a nice one out of there, hangs it up there. It's grabbed by Heyman back at the third, 15 and he's knocked down at the 16-yard line. But Schilmer has his troops on the move right now. Although they still have not crossed into Miami territory. A second down and 10 as they got no gain on the play. The ball at the Washington 45-yard line. Three minutes exactly left to play. And Kilmer ready to go to work. With a second down and 10, Skins moving from our left to our right toward the north end zone from their 45. Harrell and Brown, the split back, in behind Kilmer. Here's the handoff to Brown. Sweeps to the left, cuts back to the right. He's inside the 50 and has dropped with the Dolphin 49. He has dropped at the Dolphin 49 by Doug Swift. We have two minutes to go in the half. The Dolphins lead 7-0. Washington has a third down, a long three for first down at the Miami 49. Thus far, the Skins, who have just broken into Miami territory for the first time this afternoon, have a, an average of 2.8 on the ground as far as their ground game is concerned. So the Redskins trying to get something started. have made their first penetration of the day in the Dolphins territory. Third down, a long three from the Dolphins 49. Gilmer, the quarterback, has Taylor's foot far side, Jefferson near side. Haraway and Brown remain the running back. Gilmer? With a long count at the line of scrimmage on the snap. He drops a couple of steps back, gets a good rush, fires, picks off. Five water county, 45, 50, 45 to the 40, 35 to the 30. He's run out of bounds at the Washington 25 yard line. Next water county, the Dolphins defensive captain was assisted by a great blitz from uh, Dutch Swift that time. And Kilmer had the pressure on and he threw it right into Nick's hand. And the attorney for the defense takes over as the Dolphins come up with their second big interception of the ball game and have a first down at the Skins 28-yard line. Rick, you beat me to it. That's exactly what I was going to say. Doug Swift was all over Kilmer when he let that ball go. Uh, Howard Twilley's back in. He's put far side to the near side of Warfield. Let's see if the Dolphins can convert now for six points. Kick and drop to the running back. And behind Greasy, first down to the Skins 28-yard line. On Bowling County's interception, kick. Hole in the middle, it closes in a hurry as he booms his way down to about the 24. All right, second down and six. Miami's ball at the Washington 24-yard line. Fully and Warfield are deployed as wide receivers. Here is the handoff. A trap off the right side. Zonka 
finds a tackler and bounces off him and spins and drives his way down to about the 22. 49 seconds left to go in the half. Dolphins lead 7-0. Third down and five. At the Washington 22-yard line, Jim Mandich has come in, replacing Mar Fleming at tight end. And Tully and Warfield split off the near side. The Dolphins haven't used any of their timeouts. Clock moving with 33 seconds. Greasy drops the throw. He sets up. He is firing in the corner. Mandich, he makes a tremendous catch. Did he hold on to it? He did. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. Holy Toledo, what a play by the third-year man from the University of Michigan, Jim Mandich. Now, watch it again. Greasy drops the throw. He fires for the near corner. There is Mandich diving through the air. He holds onto the ball and goes out of bounds at the three-yard line. That stops the clock with 28 seconds. Willie is out. Meyer Fleming uh, comes back in. The Dolphins have a first and goal on the pass completion of some uh, 18 yards to Jim Mandich. The catch there was a the big thing. The ball is out at the two-yard line. All right, Chicken Zonka out of split back. In behind. Bob Greasy, the two tight ends are in. The Dolphins in that power blocking unit. Here's and off going to kick over the right side. He's sticking and driving. Is he going to make it or not? Looks like he stopped a little bit shy. Over the right side. 21 seconds left to play in the first half. Kick and Zonka remain the running back. They split. In behind Greasy. Second and goal from the one-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here's the handoff. Kick uh, into the middle. And it's going to be very close. Touchdown. Miami. Here come the handkerchief. The Dolphins really should be out in front. 24 to nothing. And now it's 14. Jim kick behind uh, the Sundance kid, his buddy. And the Dolphins now move out to a 13 to nothing lead. And once again, Rick, they scored right over the strength again. They put that ball right over top of this truck. Little moved them all the way back. Put it, put the ball over. That for uh, Jim Kick in the uh, playoff is his fourth touchdown. Henry, Bob Greasy showed the most emotion I've seen him show in a long time. He clapped his hands when he came off the field. All right, you're probably in to try the point from placement. Moral will hold. We have 18 seconds left to go in the first half. Dolphins lead 13 nothing. Snap, set down, and kick is up. And the Dolphins are out in front 14 to nothing. As we keep repeating, had it not been for that penalty, it would have been 21 to nothing. They call back the touchdown pass. And also, another penalty early in the ball game, nullified field position on a possible field goal attempt. So it could conceivably be 24 zip at this time. That's the drive just covered a minute and 33 seconds. 28 yards, five plays, and Jim Kick gets the touchdown. A one-yard run over the right side. The big play was a sensational catch by Jim Manage. That's the end of the first half as time runs out. With the score at Super Bowl seven. the white handkerchiefs are being waved madly. The score at halftime are Dolphins 14, the Redskins nothing. And the Redskins deploy down at the south end zone to receive the opening kickoff. Herb Mulkey with no college background, number 28. A rookie is in the middle. Alvin Heyman, the veteran, number 13, off to the far side. And Bob Brunet, a big running back who has good speed, number 26, is down the near side. And Gerald Yepremian will see the ball up. Now the Dolphin 40. And the most important 30 minutes of football that Miami has played this season is about to uh, take place. The Dolphins have put the Redskins into a come from behind situation for the remainder of this contest. And now let's see if we can hold them. 14 nothing as your Premian's got it teed up. And the second half of Super Bowl seven is underway. Garrow gets the kick high. It is shallow. It is grabbed by Mulkey at the 14 to the 15. He can go out across the 25. And he's knocked down at about the uh, 30 yard line. Charlie Taylor splits far side. Jefferson to the near side. Jerry Smith is the tight end. Kilmer the quarterback. Haraway and Brown in the eye. Play fake. Kilmer drops to fire. He throws to Smith. He's got it at the 40 and falls forward after he's tackled by Colin to the 41-yard line, and that's good for a first down. As we predicted, Kilmer would come out throwing the football in the second half, and he did just that, picking up a first down to tight end Jerry Smith. All right, third down and eight to, uh, to go. They have to get to the Dolphins' 49 for a first down. Kilmer on the snap. Drops a couple of steps, fires in the middle. Charlie Taylor's got it, 45, down to the 42, and he's got a first down. Tackled by Lloyd Mumford. And the Redskins have their deepest penetration of the day. A first down at the Miami 42-yard line. Kilmer is going to the air. From the Dolphins 42, he sprints out to his left this time, firing for the far sideline. It is caught and knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line over there. Here's Roy Jefferson. 
Jefferson puts near side. Taylor to the far side. First down at the Miami 27-yard line. Schilmer on the snap. Quick uh, step back. Fires out to the near side. It is caught by Jefferson, and he is knocked out at the 20-yard line. Dick Anderson coming over to help out Lloyd Mumford. But not before he picks up some seven or eight yards. Down to the Dolphin 20, and the Redskins fired up coming out here in this second half. A second down and three. Skins ball up the Dolphin 20 yard line. They're moving far left to our right toward the north end zone. Gilmer has now used up uh, some three minutes and 15 seconds. From the Dolphins 20. Here's the handoff. Charlie Haraway over the right side, and he twists and drives and bucks his way to about the 17. That will be close to a first down. Vern Denherter wrestles him to the ground at that point. That looks like a first down. Kilmer asked for it. He got it, and he gets the first down just outside the Dolphins' 17. Kilmer on the snap. Fakes the handoff, drops the throw. He is firing. It is knocked away, and a little bit overthrown. And Jennifer Taylor down at the one-yard line. Jake Scott and Lloyd Mumford back there to cover on the play. And we have a second down coming up and 10. The ball at the Dolphins' 17-yard line. Waiting for the snap is Kilmer. Play fake, drops the throw. He swings wide, and it's dropped by Charlie Haraway. The ball rolling loose on the field, and the officials blow it dead as an incomplete pass. Ten minutes, 46 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Redskins' most serious threat. The Dolphins' proud no-name defense, leading 14 to nothing. They have been the story in this ball game thus far. Taylor puts to the near side, Jefferson to the far side. On a third down and 10 from the Miami 17. Kilmer, play fake, drops the throw. He sets up. He's got, he's caught! Back at the 25 and drops by Manny Fernandez, back at the 28-yard line. And they're going to say that his progress is halted back at the 25. So the touchdown possibility is eliminated, at least for this time. And Kurt Knight comes in, the man who has had 7 for 7 in the playoffs in the field goal department and could not hit the broad side of a barn during the regular season because of uh, change in holders. Rick, we can't say too much about Manny Fernandez and the job he's doing out here today. He's really playing super... Bull ball. Sam Weiss, number 18, a quarterback, will hold from the 32. 32-yard attempt by Kurt Knight. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It's no good. He finally misses one off to his right. Well, this is just not the Redskins day so far. I can tell you that. And that's a 32-yard attempt by Kurt Knight. Miss. He's not happy as he comes off the field. You get a timeout on the field. Often football action continues. From Super Bowl seven in Los Angeles with a score, our Dolphins 14 and the Redskins nothing. Rick Weaver back at Los Angeles. Uh, Lloyd Bumford almost blocked that last field goal attempt and might have forced Knight to kick it off to his right. He got around a block set by Chris Hamburger, but uh, the kick was off to the right side. Warfield on the near side on third down and five. Kick is the slot man left. Zonka is the other back in behind Greasy. Third and five, Dolphins from their 25-yard line. Greasy hands to Zonka, trap, he hits the middle and he drags tacklers with him, but he does not get a first down. He is halted at the 28-yard line. Ron McDowell is the man who gets uh, credit for the stop, and so the Dolphins will have to punt. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Larry puts the toe into it, and he booms the beauty out of there. Holy Toledo, what a kick. Back is Heyman at the 25. A loose one tackler running laterally to the near side. He's dragged down way back inside the 20. At about the 18-yard line, great coverage by the Dolphins special team. Dolphin football action continues from Super Bowl VII with a score. Our Dolphins 14 and the Redskins nothing. First down for the skin. The ball at their 43-yard line. Jefferson puts far side, Taylor to the near side. Haraway and Brown in the eye behind Kilmer. Billy up under center, waits for the snap. Quick drop. He fires out to the far side. It is caught by Jefferson, and he is still spinning off people and is not knocked down until he gets down to about the Dolphins' 44-yard line. He tried to put a juke step on Curtis Johnson. Johnson was waiting for it and tripped him up because had not he got him, why, uh, he might have been off to the races down the far sideline. 5-21, left to play in the third quarter. The clock has not moved. This was a penalty on the last play. Third down and 15 for the skins from the Dolphins' 49-yard line. As he is set, he drops the throw. He has time. He fires in the middle. It is overthrown and almost intercepted. He released that ball at the last minute. The pressure began to get to him as the blocking broke down, and McNeil was the nearest man to it, cutting on a slant across the middle, but it uh, caromed off his hand. And the Dolphins almost intercepted. One of the safeties had a shot at it, so that'll bring up a punting situation. Jake Scott was the man. Scott will go back as the deep safety. Anderson, the shallow man. 
Line of scrimmage, the Dolphins 49. Bragg stands back at the Washington 36-yard line. On the snap. Here it is. He gets the kick out of there, and he hangs it high. Scott signals for a fair catch and makes it for the Dolphins at their 17-yard line. And there is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Super Bowl VII with a score. Our Dolphins 14, the Redskins nothing. Rick Weaver at Super Bowl VII. The Dolphins with uh, 5.09 to play in the third quarter, 14-0 lead. Had Morris and Zonka, the running backs, behind Gracie. First down from their 17. Here's the handoff to Burke. Cuts outside to the near side. Across the 20 and out to about the 23-yard line. Gracie on the inside counter. Zonka, big hole, 25. 30 out to the 34-yard line. Almost to the 35. Rosie Taylor from a safety spot. Had to make the tackle low on Zonk, and he just busted through there. That's the counterplay that Greasy and Zonka teamed up on in the uh, the uh, Kansas City game, the longest game last year to give Garrow the field goal position that he needed. The ball at the 35, first down for Miami. Fully splits to the far side. Zonka and Morris are the eye backs in behind Greasy. First down, Miami, from the Dolphins' 35-yard line. Greasy will now try to control the football. Here is the handoff. Quick opener. Zonka, another big hole. 45, 50, 45 to the 40, 35. Bags over the tackle. 25, 20, carrying people with him down to the 16-yard line. What a run by the human bulldozer, Larry Zonka. Jack Hardy, Greg Owen are the guys that... That he carried with him, but he purposely ran into a tackler, just falling him over. And Zonka picks up a first down on a 39-yard run down to the Redskins 16. And Ricky's going to stay in there. Most of the time you get any any wide receiver runs that far, they'll give him a blow, but not, <laughs> not Zonk. Zonka now has carried 11 times 90 yards, and he's knocking on the 100-yard door here in the Super Bowl. Dolphins first down at the Skins' uh, 16. Zonka and Morris remain the uh, splitbacks behind Greasy. Here's the handoff to Merck. He squeezes through a small opening in the middle. Gets down to maybe the 12. That's a 49-yard run by Zonka and not 39. He now has 100 yards unofficially on the ground. Larry Zonka has achieved 100 yards. Those are unofficial figures on the ground. Second down and uh, seven for the Dolphins. The ball at the 12-yard line in Redskins territory. Here is the handoff to Mercury, outside sweep, he gets the corner turn, puts his head down, runs over people inside the 10, and he's not knocked down until he gets down to about the six yard line. Third down, less than a yard from the six and a half yard line. Reese calls the signals, here's the handoff to Kick, he's got the first down inside the five. Down to about the four yard line, Jim Kick carries. First and goal from the five, time 137, left to go, the clock moving in the third quarter. Greasy, who has called a brilliant ball game, hands to Zonk, uh, the counter over the right side, and he gets to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. One of the Dolphins getting up kind of 12, down at the five-yard line, and now falls down, going back to the huddle. Jim Mandich, it appears to be, from up here, so Miami will have to use a uh, timeout. All right, second down and goal from the five-and-a-half-yard line. Zonk and Morris, the splitbacks in behind Greasy, on the snap. He play fakes to Morris. He's firing into the end zone. It is Zonk. Uh, knocked down. And was it intercepted? Intercepted, Rick. Intercepted by the Redskins. Greg Owens. He took it away from Meyer Fleming. So the Dolphins lose what could have been a sure field goal on a pass interception as Greasy, who had been perfect up until that, has it stolen right out of Fleming's hand. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action continues from Super Bowl VII in Los Angeles with a score. Our Dolphins 14, and the Redskins nothing. Here's Kilmer. He swings a pass out. Brown's got it, the 15 up the far side of the 20, shakes the tackle, fumbles the ball. Who's got it? It is uh, Washington's possession out of bounds. The ball went out of bounds. Brown was snared and searched, and he fumbled the football up at the uh, 27 yard line. That was a third down pass. The ball rolls out of bounds, and the last team who had possession of it. As everybody was scrambling for it, it's ruled to have the football, so that brings up the punting situation. Fourth down. All right, the line of scrimmage, the uh, Redskins 26. Bragg will punt. He'll stand at the 12. Jake Scott is deep. The count is shallow. Here's the snap to Bragg. He gets the kick high. It is not deep at all. He kicks it right up the elevator shaft. It is grabbed by Dick Anderson. A sensational catch. <laughs> On a uh, fair catch. He was wobbling around like a drunken outfielder under that one. That ball was kicked straight up in the air, and Bragg has 
not kicked well. That's only 28 yards. The Dolphins come out on a fair catch with the football at their 49-yard line. That brings up third down and eight, and the Dolphins thus far in the ball game are three out of seven on third down conversions. This has settled down into more or less of a routine ball game from the Redskins' 49-yard line, waiting for the snap. Reese drops the throw. He sets up. He fires the swing out of the backfield. A kick cuts for the outside, and is caught from behind, and he's going to get only a couple of yards. Knocked down at about the 46 or the 47. Chris Hamburger is the guy who got him over there. Brundage, Pat Fisher, all over there. And so the Dolphins wind up picking up just three yards. And Seiple will come into punt. The line of scrimmage is the uh, Redskins 46. He's standing back at the Dolphins 39-yard line. Here is the snap. It's a pretty good rush. He gets it high. Beautiful kick. Hangs it up there. Bounces. Now it's grabbed fair catch by Baxter at the 10-yard line. And the Redskins are 90 yards away with 12 minutes and 31 seconds showing on the board. Left to play in the Super Bowl seven, And so it's an eight-yard pickup. And it's a second down and two coming up. Gilmer up under center. Box those signals. Spins. Hands off to Brown. A quick trap in the middle. He is hit. And knocked down, but not before he gets the first down. Out to about the 24-yard line. Larry Brown through the middle for six yards. Mike Cullen threw a typical patent tackle into him. Dick Anderson also. First down for the Skins at their 24. And Larry lost that valuable $400 helmet on that play, Rick. In case no one knows, he's got a hearing aid in there and that helmet is worth 400 big big ones. A second down and five. Coming up, 11 minutes, five seconds to go. On uh, second down and about four from the 29, here's Kilmer with a pitch to Brown to the near side, finds a hole, shakes the tackle across the 40 and not to the 41-yard line. First down for the uh, Redskins out at their 41. The ball is at the 50-yard line. Second down and a yard. Jefferson split near side. Taylor to the far side. Kilmer spins, hands off to Charlie Haraway, finds a hole to the right side. Manny Fernandez has dragged a couple of yards inside the 45, down to about the 42. That is good for a Washington first down. The ball is just outside the 32. They need to get it just inside the 32 for a first down. Time will start. As Kilmer sets his ball club with third down and short yardage from the Dolphins' 32-yard line. Here's the handoff to Brown. Hurdles over the line of scrimmage inside the 30 for the first down, down to about the 29. And this is a sustained, time-consuming drive. The ball is at the Dolphins' 20. Six minutes, 19 seconds to go. The Dolphins lead 14-0. The Skins with a second and one from the Miami 20-yard line. Charlie Taylor splits right, Jefferson to the near side. Haraway and Taylor... and. Uh, and Brown are the eyebacks and behind Kilmer. Kilmer, quick drop, fires out, far sideline, and Taylor makes the grab and runs it out of bounds at the 14. That is good for a first down. And that'll bring up a second down. We'll call it six. At the 10 and a half, clock moving with four minutes, 33 seconds to go. The Dolphins lead, or five minutes, 33 seconds to go. Dolphins lead 14 nothing. Jefferson splits left, Taylor to the far side. Here is Kilmer. Quick drop to throw. As now he fires. It is. It hits the crossbar. Hit the goalpost. Kilmer hits the crossbar. <laughs> what a revolting development that is. Now here's Kilmer. You fans watching on television as we're watching our monitor here. The ball hits the uh, corner right there. All right, third down and six. The ball just outside the Dolphins' ten and a half yard line. Let's see if they can stop them. Taylor splits far side. Jefferson near side. Kilmer, ready to go to work from the Dolphins' ten and a half. He drops the throw. He sets. He fires the middle. It is Tucker in the end zone. Jake Scott, 5, 10, 15 to the 20, 25, 30. He might go. 35, 40. And he's dragged out from behind at the 50-yard line. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score are Dolphins 14, the Redskins nothing. Rick Weaver, Lou Prickner, Henry Barrow is starting down for the Dolphins locker room. Jake Scott intercepted a pass. The Dolphins defense did it again and runs it back out to the Redskins 48-yard line. There has not been a shutout in Super Bowl history. Larry Zonka, let's see, unofficially still needs uh, 20 yards to tie Matt Snell's all-time single-game rushing record. This Dolphin defense, Jake Scott could have, uh, until we get to the record book, could have conceivably tied a Super Bowl record with his second pass interception. Warfield and Twilley are the wide receivers. Kick and Zonka, the eye back. Greasy hands to Zonk. Finds a hole over the left side, inside the 45, down to about the 41-yard line. Here is Greasy, the handoff, kick, finds a hole, puts his head down, rams his way inside the 40, down to about the 38, and that'll be close to a first down. First down for the Dolphins at the Redskins 38. So Greasy 
where there's expert play calling is fine passing with one mistake this afternoon and that was a pass the interception down in the end zone first down Dolphins at the 38 yard line in Redskins territory Dickens off to the running back Greasy waits the snap here's the handoff kick finds a hole right side puts his head down bangs his way down to the 34 yard line waiting for the snap now with a second down and seven here is Greasy Hands off, Donka over the left side, and he's going to be stopped right, to, maybe he got a yard down to the 34. Here's a third and six. Reese will go back, sprint out to his right, looking to throw. He's firing deep. Willie is down there. He can't get it at the five-yard line. Nice play by Pat Fisher, the left cornerback, who broke it up down at the five. Reese was not too far off target, and now Garrow gets a chance to try a field goal. Clock says two minutes and 21 seconds. Garrow, two for four in the playoffs. This will be a 42-yard attempt. More overhold. It'll be from the far inbounds hash mark. There is no wind. And we can tell from the flagpole up here. A 42-yard attempt by your premium. Snap, set down. The kick is blocked. Rolling loose on the field. It is picked up by Garrow. He tries to throw a pass. Deflected in the air. Grabbed by Bass. 40, 35, 30. He's going to score. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Mike Bass and the Washington specialty teams get their club on the board and make it a new ball game just as we were raving about a victory here with two minutes and seven seconds to go Garrow had the football and it looked from here as if he tried to throw a forward pass with it let's take a, uh, another look at it you folks watching on the tube it's hard to tell who got it but the ball rolls loose Garrow picks it up and the ball is deflected in the air. Mike Bass comes down with it, number 41. And about the 47 and just outruns everybody. Outruns your premium down the sideline. 47 yards for a touchdown. And it is now a 14 to 6 game with two minutes and seven seconds left to go. So this is a brand new one. The Dolphins bench is not happy about that. So Kurt Knight was in to try the point, And it's now a 14 to 6 ball game. Weish holes. Here's the snap. The kick is up. And it's good. It is 14 to 7. And uh, that that play just kind of turned things around of the Dolphins now. The defense did not give up a touchdown. It was scored by the specialty teams when they blocked the field goal. 47 yards, one play. And Mike Bass, they ruled it a fumble recovery off uh, the field goal because Garrow had handled the football. And it's ruled a fumble recovery. So it's 14 to 7, and anything can happen here with uh, two minutes and seven seconds showing on the clock. Let's see what the strategy calls for. Here he comes. He kicks it high, and he kicks it deep. Mercury Morris back right at the goal line. Starts out of the five, the 10, trying to find a hole up the left side. He's across the 15 and is knocked uh, off his feet at the 16-yard line. The Dolphins now must, main con must maintain ball control, possession of the ball, the ball is at their 16, 84 yards away, a minute and 57 seconds to go. And both clubs have their three timeouts left. Miami thus far has uh, picked up uh, total offense 233 to the Redskins 249. Kick and Zonka, or check it, Morris is in there. Morris and Zonka are the running backs. Warfield splits left fully to the near side. The ball at the Dolphins 16, they're moving from our left to our right. Here is the handoff going to Mercury. Sweep to the near side. He's not going to get the corner turn. He's dragged down at about the 20-yard line. And the second down and seven. Dolphins leading 14 to seven. Must maintain ball control. Warfield splits left fully to the near side. Kick and Zonka to split back behind Greasy. From the Dolphin 19-yard line. Greasy drops the throw. He is looking for Warfield. He's got him. 25, 26. Shakes the tackler at the 30. And they say really out of bounds at the 30-yard line. But that's going to be good for a first down. Kick and Zonka. Ah, uh, the uh, split back, first down Miami from their 30-yard line. Greasy, hands off the kick, finds a hole over the right side, but he's not going to get very far as he's dropped at the 29-yard line. Brig Owen, build it up. The clock has stopped with 1.39 to go. The Dolphins leading 14 to 7. Second and 11, Dolphins from their 29-yard line. On the snap, here's the handoff to Zonka, sweep to the left. He barrels in over people and gets uh, out to about the 34-yard line, maybe only the 33. The ball is at the 33-yard uh, line in Dolphin territory with 1.31 to go. A third down and seven situation presenting itself to Bob Greasy. He pitches to Mercury Morris, the sweep to the near side, up the slips and falls down, shy of the first down as he made his cut. 
with a minute and 23 seconds left to play in this contest. Time is not officially in yet. The ball is at the Dolphin 36. Staples standing back at about the 21-yard line. You get the punt out of there. 123 to go. Rick, I think you're going to see he's going to boom it out there and try to get it up real high. Well, that's what he's going to try to do. We hope he can do it. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. He gets a tremendous rush and gets off a beautiful kick. Way back at the 24 is Heyman. 25. And he's dropped at the 30-yard line. So they're going to be some 70 yards away with no timeouts left. 114 left to go. Kilmer ready to go to work. The Dolphins lead 14 to 7. One minute, 12 seconds. Kilmer, quick drop, fires for the near side, overthrown, incomplete. That stops the clock. Larry Brown was out there. One minute, nine seconds to go. A second and ten. No timeouts left from the Redskins 30. He's got receivers spread all over the place. He drops the throw. He is firing. It is almost intercepted, incomplete, thrown out of bounds. Curtis Johnson was back there. One minute, four seconds to play. Third down and ten. Two downs left. Here's Kilmer back to throw. He fires a little swing pass back to the 23 to Brown. He's caught at the 25 and dragged down. Dragged down. Fine play by Doug Swift. Bill Stanfield is the man who got him, but uh, Swift was in there too. And they're going to mark the ball back at the 26. So the clock continues to move with 45 seconds to go. 43. This is a fourth down. Fourth down. Here is Kilmer back to throw. He is caught. And he has dropped back at the 17-yard line. Den Herter and Stan fell all over him. And that could be the old ball game. The Dolphins send in uh, the other unit. Very happy as Kilmer is tossed for a loss. Back to the 17 on fourth down. The Dolphins take over on first down at the Redskins 17-yard line. And we have just 33 seconds left to play in this football game unless... Something really unexpected has happened at uh, the 207 mark of that blocked field goal while the Dolphins have won Super Bowl VII. Manny, Fernandez, Stanfrill, and Denherter have had sacks this afternoon on Kilmer. This defense has just been magnificent today. The only touchdown that was scored was by the uh, specialty teams of the Redskins, and that could have turned it around, but the defense just took it away from them. The clock is moving now. The clock is moving. They're not going to get a playoff. Five seconds, four seconds. Three seconds. The Dolphins have won Super Bowl seven. have completed the greatest season in NFL history. And that is going to be the end of the ball game as the Dolphins have won it by a score of 14 to 7. The white handkerchiefs come out. The final score are Miami Dolphins 14 as they are mobbed by a ton of people at center field. The Washington Redskins 7. We'll be back with a final wrap-up after these announcements. As it registered in anyone's mind yet of what a feat has now been accomplished 17 straight ball games without a loss well no well not really i don't guess i really anybody's re ever really realized it but i'll just say this maybe uh maybe that uh people will start giving some of these people or all, the, all the people uh, the recognition that they deserve uh, that to help to bring it about to the players uh, they, they came to camp this year with uh, moran and they reached it today Bill, congratulations, and I know you're just as happy as can be. Thank you. That was uh, Dolphin defensive coordinator Bill Arnsparger. Sure. Now we'll talk, to, we'll talk to the offensive counterpart, Howard Schnellenberger. Howard, first off, i got to be a little bit facetious and ask you if you'd like that uh, pass down at the uh, goal line call back over again. Well, I just wish the... Uh, uh, back, uh, Owens hadn't made such a wonderful play on the ball. Actually, there was a crack there. We could have been in, but he made a superb play on the ball. Uh, yes, I wish we would have been able to get three points there, and then I wouldn't have died five times in that last two and a half minutes. Howard, uh, your game plan was obviously the one that was necessary to win the ball game. Uh, did, did things go, uh, take back a couple of penalties, and it would have been a much higher scoring game? Did it go the way you thought it would? Well, we were real pleased with the execution that our players uh, had today. Uh, I think they played about as well as they can play and uh, as you indicated the penalties hurt us early and then we had the one call back. Uh, the only thing, I'm just so happy that we won because it's so rewarding to all of us who worked hard at this thing. I maybe wish that we could have gotten another score or two because I think maybe we played uh, good enough to get another score. Uh, Howard, I asked Bill Arnsparker the same question. Uh, you're now 17-0. and 0. Have you had time to, to really realize what a feat has been accomplished? 
Probably not. I don't really know. Probably not. We'll probably in a week from now start thinking about this, and it'll be in, uh, in a different perspective. Uh, we've just taken each game one at a time and uh, really haven't had time to look back, and probably not. We'll probably recognize it for what it is uh, a little later. Howard, congratulations, and we're going to send it back up to Rick Weaver right now. Thank you. We'll take it back up here, and we'll be right back after these commercial messages. This is Lou Krigberg down here with Don Shula, the coach of the year, the guy that put together a team that put together a 17-0 record. Congratulations, Don. Thank you, Lou, and I'm just so proud of uh, what happened today. Uh, our football team deserves to be the world's champs, and that's exactly what they are. And there aren't many uh, teams that there aren't any teams that have ever won the world championship and won everything else too. And uh, so I think that this football team will now be recognized for their accomplishments. Don, did you think at the beginning of the season, beginning of the preseason up there at training camp, that you had a winner such as this? Well, I, you probably don't know me that well. I, I have faith in uh, the people that I'm working with, and each day we go out with the idea of winning. And uh, so that's what it's all about. And the fact that uh, you accomplish that really doesn't surprise you. And when you win, you're, you're not surprised. And when you win five in a row, you don't act surprised that you won five in a row. You're thinking about winning the sixth, and that's the approach that, that I've always had. Were you a little upset here when uh, Garrow had that field goal to, uh, blocked? Well, I felt bad for Garrow especially because, uh, you know, it was a big play and you would have hated to see a guy like Garrow uh, be the goat of a, of a great football game like was uh, we were playing out there. And uh, fortunately, uh, the guys really got together and took him off the hook. And I know Garrow felt bad about that, but uh, he hasn't had much experience back there running or throwing passes. I guess you know one man down here at the other end of the locker room is holding a press conference that was larger than yours, Manny Fernandez. Well, Manny had a great day, and uh, he's another guy that uh, we've uh, felt every year is an outstanding defensive lineman, but yet he hasn't been to the Pro Bowl. And uh, we tried to, uh, uh, this year, uh, we thought that he was getting more and more uh, recognition, but he was playing the middle of that 53 and getting double teamed a lot in that. So. That kept him from really uh, getting to the quarterback more, I think. But he's just a great football player. We wouldn't be able to hold up in that type of defense if, if we didn't have Manny playing the middle. Don, how about Bob Greasy? He had himself another good day. Well, he did, and that's the reason that uh, I had so much confidence in Bob. Uh, he, he looked sharp in the practices and completely healed. And this is the type of uh, uh, ability that he has. He has the ability to lead a football team the way he led our offense out there today. Well, Don, congratulations on a great year. Thank you. The Dolphin defense was the real story of this game, stopping Larry Brown Cole. Jake Scott was named most valuable player for his two interceptions. And Manny Fernandez had the kind of a day a defensive lineman dreams about, as the no-name defense completely controlled the game. So playing an almost perfect football game in a perfect season, the Miami Dolphins were world champions. Only seven years since Joe Robbie was granted a franchise in the old AFL, Miami not only won the Super Bowl, but had gone an entire season undefeated. A feat no other NFL team in history has accomplished. It is unlikely ever to happen again. <laughs> 